interesting ways, I think, to explore music is to take something from one instrument and adapt it to another instrument. And I've often found that in doing so, um, you discover possibilities that you otherwise might not have realized or considered. And so here's a tune, the Evening Prayer Blues, that uh, the father of bluegrass music, Bill Monroe, adapted to the mandolin from the harmonica playing of D. Ford Bailey, who um, they played together on the Grand Ole Opry in the 1930s. And uh, I actually learned this tune from one of my favorite bluegrass mandolinists, Mike Compton, and as part of his show, he often does both his own adaptation of the D4 Bailey version as well as uh, the Bill Monroe arrangement. So here I have the Bill Monroe arrangement uh, adapted to the guitar. And um, in doing so, my main objective was to just keep the, the essence of the tune intact. But of course, the mandolin uh, does things that the guitar can't do quite so well, uh, namely the, the tremolo stuff. You know, if you were to hear Mike play this, it would be something like... Uh, and that just doesn't have the same effect on the guitar as it does on the mandolin. And so um, what I decided to do in this arrangement was um, add some cross-picking instead to fill out the sound. And uh, the cross-picking... Uh, same effect of filling out the sound and allowing the melody to speak but in a in a more guitaristic sort of way and so um, so here it is again I'm gonna play it again slowed down with a close-up of the left and right hands and um, if you're interested there's a transcription available for free um, at samuelpain.net under the learn tab for this arrangement if you feel so inclined to learn it here it is again the evening prayer blues Thank you. 